Hello and welcome to this video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at this TP-Link Deco. This is the main router hub. It's the Deco X50 DSL. This means it's got an ADSL, VDSL modem in it, so it's an all-in-one device. We have copper phone lines for a lot of connections still in the UK. Um, so we have fibre to the cabinet and then it comes over the telephone line through providers like BT, Sky, TalkTalk, Talk, etc. This should work with pretty much all of those providers uh, and you can completely remove the ISP provided router and just use this instead. There's versions of this without the VDSL uh, modem in them that's just a router as well. So if you were on cable internet or full fibre to the property that's the type you would want. The benefit to this model is that it has the VDSL um, modem in it but it can also use the ethernet ports as a normal router so this will work in the future when we switch to full fiber everywhere which is by 2026 roughly so anyway i've purchased this to deploy at a friend's house uh, this is going to be used in addition to these other deco units here which i've got yet to unbox and it's just to provide a whole home coverage by having one main decent router and having a few sort of devices that are wirelessly meshly connected to it. At the minute he's got two uh, different wireless routers, one of them set up as just an access point, both broadcasting the same name but he has the issue where when you go to one part of the house um, it's still trying to connect to the one that's on the other side that's basically got no signal or it will completely drop out, It'll take about a minute and then it might reconnect to the other one so it's really troublesome and I've advised him to just try these out. I've never actually deployed these myself. I usually put uh, Ubiquiti products in, Unify, Access Points and such, which are more on an enterprise scale. Uh, it costs a bit more money and you also have to hardwire all of those. These will wirelessly connect to each other, so that's why we're trying these out. In this video, I'm just doing a quick unboxing and overview of this unit. I'm going to do an unboxing of the uh, remote Deco units as well. And then I'll probably also do a video setting up and deploying these at his property. Um, which will be something that comes a little down the line. But anyway, let's crack on with this. So this is an AX3000. Uh, it's Wi-Fi 6 supported, the uh, router itself. So you can see it works as a VDSL modem and router. It has dual band 3000 megabit Wi-Fi and it can handle over 150 devices. Um, there's a little asterisk there which will depend. Uh, Super VDSL supports 350 megabit uh, DSL, which is the uh, telephone line modem connection. In our country, in the UK, you can get a maximum of um, 80 megabit down and 20 megabit up over the DSL. Anything higher you move on to actual full fibre. So this one unit on its own is spec to cover up to 2,500 square foot or 230 square metres. That's going to depend on the construction, the walls, where you place it, etc. So this is going to be an ideal world number. Uh, it says it works with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, uh, Home Shield, etc. And it is also spec to work with all Deco models. So you can buy the more expensive Deco router, which this is, and uh, non Wi Fi 6 remote units, which these are not the same speed. These are only AC 1200 units, these Deco M4s. So, top of the box, we've just got TP Link Deco. It comes with a three year warranty, you can see there. On the side, we've got a nice little diagram showing you the unit. So you can see you've got this DSL port. The models without a DSL modem in them won't have that, they'll just have the Ethernet ports. But that's where your telephone line will go in. Then you've got four WAN all LAN ports, so that means that you can use it as a router by plugging your fibre into one of those, and the others are outputs for hardwired devices. So, it's specced for up to 574 megabit per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band, and 2402 megabits on the 5 gigahertz. It's compatible with VDSL2, ADSL2+, ADSL2 and ADSL technology. VDSL is fibre to the cabinet, the street cabinet, or hybrid fibre. And the ADSL is uh, copper telephone lines all the way from your property to the exchange, at least in the case of the UK. So there's the mesh protocol, AO2.11 KVR, a few other various standards. I'm not going to go into too much of these, because I know not everybody's going to be interested. But these, uh, this unit has got 4 gigabit ports on it, so you can get 1 gigabit per second of throughput through all of these hardwire connections. It also has an optional Ethernet backhaul, which means you can plug in the remote units hardwired into this, 
to extend the coverage or you can just plonk them down elsewhere and let them wirelessly connect back into this. It supports access point mode, smart connect, IPv6, even has guest network which means you can set up your own separate Wi-Fi just for friends coming over that can access everything else that's on your home connection. There you go, you can unbox it, install the app on your phone and follow the on-screen directions to set it up. Quite a quick setup process apparently. On the other side of the box, it's more or less the same information. So let's open this thing up. I'm going to open this side. And just slide the inner carton out. Okay, so in the inner box we've got like a sponge pad that must be to stop it moving and shipping. Here's the actual unit itself. It's got a protective plastic stuck to the top of it. I'm gonna leave that on just for now. We've got a little TP Link logo. It is quite a clean, um, nice looking unit. You know, it's very unobtrusive. You could just put this in the corner of a, a living room or a hallway or something, and it. Then on the bottom, we've got various ventilation, model number, serial number, and MAC address, which I will have blacked out, including the Wi Fi name or SSID. There's a reset button here, which you could put a little paper clip or something in to reset it, or hold it to factory reset, same as uh, traditional routers. On the back of the unit, more little TP-Link branding. You've got the DSL port here. This is for the telephone line connection if you're using the modem function. And then these four one gigabit per second ethernet ports with the power input socket. There's no power switch or anything that I can see on the unit, so it must just come to life as soon as you plug it in. Under here, there's nothing else. That's just a liner. In the side here, we've got some instructions. Download the app and log in. So you may have to set up a TP-Link ID to set this up, I'm not sure, we'll find that out in a minute. Here you've got the power supply plug for the unit. Which is a very well stuck bag. So the power supply is here, obviously this will come with your specific regions plug on it. This is a 12 volt 1.5 amp power supply with the DC just socket on it. It's not got a very long length, but it's probably standard, maybe a touch longer than most provided routers tend to come with. We've also got the line filter. Now this is what you would plug into the telephone master socket. And this gives you a telephone output and an output for your broadband to this unit. It's quite good to include one of those. This just allows you to use your landline telephone and make calls whilst the broadband's on. If you've got internet already, you'll already have these in place. Or you may have a, a faceplate that's got both on, on the wall, so you don't need an external one. You also get a RJ11 cable, which I'm not actually going to open this, but this has just got the small uh, telephone cable connections on it. Information card, if you can't connect to them wirelessly, some older versions may be incompatible. If you're experiencing problems, update the driver software for your device. There's another cable here. Oh, I think this is an actual Ethernet cable, but it's a flat one. We'll have a look. Let's get this open. It's very, very sticky. It just rips the bags. Instead of... Yeah, so this is indeed a normal Ethernet cable for plugging in laptops, computers, anything hardwired into it. But it's a flat one and a sort of bubbly one. It's interesting. In there you've also got the general quick installation guide which is quite thick I wouldn't say that is necessarily quick but it might have a lot of languages in it yep so um, what I'm going to do that's sort of the unboxing for this thing but I'll I'll try and set this up just really quickly I'm just going to I don't have um, DSL internet anymore but I will plug into one of these ports with my internet my fiber and we'll just do a quick speed test on it and just see what it's like on its own. Okay, so the setup for this here, I've just got the power cable and I've got a hardware connection going to my uh, current fibre internet. I'm just going to plug this into number one and we'll just use it as a, a router as opposed to being a, a modem router for now. And I'll just plug the power in and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got a small uh, light down here that's currently green. I've also installed and downloaded the TP-Link Deco app, so I'm just going to open that up. Uh, 
I accept the terms and conditions. Uh, so I need to create a TP-Link ID in order to do anything. So I'm going to have to make one of those really quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so that took me about two or three minutes just to uh, register my email address and activate the account from the email. So that's now set up. In that time, the deco has just started flashing with a blue light, as you can see over here on the left. So it's now asking me to turn on fingerprint login, etc. I'm, I'm not going to do that now. So let's begin. Search for the deco model. So this is an X50 DSL. So we want that one. Now it's asking me how I want to set this up. Do I want to use it as a modem router or as a Wi-Fi router? So if you have a copper telephone connection, you would be using a DSL modem router mode via phone cable. And if you've got fiber to the property um, or cable, internet, etc., you would use it as Wi-Fi router mode. So I'm just going to use it as a Wi-Fi router at the minute because I have full fiber. So it's now telling you you need the ethernet cable, the power adapter and the deco itself. So we'll go next. It's telling you to power off your existing modem, etc. and unplug it. Plug in the uh, new deco unit and connect it up with some diagrams. These are, could be quite helpful for people. Check the modem. So that means wait for your actual uh, fibre modem or cable modem to connect to the internet. If you're using this as uh, just router mode connected to another device. Or the fibre box if you have full fibre. Then click next again. Now it says wait until the deco's LED pulse is blue, which it is doing at the moment. So yellow is it starting up and pulsing blue means it's ready for setup. So let's go next. It wants to access location. I'm going to allow it precise location but only whilst using the app. So now Deco is going to use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect to the device. So yes, connect. That's the same um, model and number as is stamped on the base of my unit. Uh, I'm just going to leave it set to bedroom for now because as I say this is just a test. So it's just detected the uh, internet type. It wants some information. So mine is a dynamic IP address. Most connections will probably be dynamic. Um, if you're using it in router mode, you may need PPPoE um, if you have a, an email address and password you have to put in. If so, you would click that and then it will give you an option uh, to enter username and password there. Um, your provider will give you these or it will be on their website. I'm just going to leave this on dynamic because dynamic will work for this connection. IPTV and VLANs, uh, this is if you want to segment, um, if you've got subscription TV like UView and things like that. I don't have any of that, that's staying off for me. Now it's asking you to name your wireless, that'll be the Wi-Fi this puts out. So I'm just going to call this Deco uh, Test. And the password is just going to be Test1234. I advise you pick a, a slightly stronger password. It's now creating the Wi-Fi network. This is taking a little minute or two. So I can save username and password, I'm not going to. So now I need to connect my phone to it. So I'm assuming if I click connect, it will do it for me. Oh yeah, it opens Wi-Fi. So now I'll be able to select the deco test. So that's now connected at 1.2 gigabits per second apparently, which is uh, quite impressive. This is a uh, Galaxy S20 Plus I'm doing this on, so. So I have connected. It's now trying to connect again. The light's gone green on the Deco unit.
Oh, it failed. Move the phone tablet closer to the device. I mean, I'm already as close as I can get. Tap try again. If it persists, go to the Wi-Fi settings and manually do it. Okay. So we'll just try again. If not, I may have to go into settings and manually connect. But I'm just going to check that out now. I'm going to manually connect to this. There we go, we're connected now. So if I go back to the app, see it's connected now, okay. So I didn't manage to automatically connect, I had to do that manually by going into settings and Wi-Fi on my phone. Deco network is now up, it's ready to use. Please connect all the devices to the network for better connections. Okay, done. There was an option to add another deco, which would be to add the additional remote units, but I'm not going to do that right now. So This video is focusing mainly on the, the X50 router unit. So we've got an overview stat here of how fast everything's operating at. Uh, Wi-Fi settings we can go into and just change the password or name. Oh, I just deleted that by accident. Uh, you can choose the security type, WPA2, WPA2, whichever one you want. Uh, there's advanced settings, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, or one or the other. The width of channels, the bigger the channel the better the Wi-Fi is. You can hide the Wi-Fi. Guest network, this will allow you to turn that on and set up an additional isolated network. I'm not going to do that now. And you can see here Nathan S20 is connected to it. There's one client online. Now let's just do a quick speed test using the speedtest.net app. So you can see we're connected to uh, my talk -talk connection. I have a 500 by 500 package, 500 megabits up and down fiber. So we'll see how much we can use. It's actually really good. It's managing to use more or less the full connection. Well, it's using more than it. it might just be congestion on the download but it's actually a very impressive performance obviously i'm stood right near the device so uh you know may vary based on distance etc and i don't expect to receive this kind of speed from the remote units but that's still pretty good so anyway i think i'm going to leave this uh video here and conclude up now so this seems like a good uh, modem router device we purchased this one off amazon um yeah, the main selling point is going to be adding the additional remote units, the facility for it to just connect to those. Um, I'm going to do that in my other video, unboxing the uh, remote decos and setting those up. And then I'll probably also do a follow up on this of actually deploying it in the house and comparing it with the old Wi-Fi. So stay tuned for them. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll try my best to uh, respond and help you out if I can and subscribe to my channel for future random technical videos like this one. Thanks for watching.